Back in the early 70s, the Dramonis brothers opened a produce stand on the south side of Chicago, selling fresh fruits and vegetables by the pound. Eventually, they moved into a small store. It was 800 square feet. It was smaller in this little produce place right here. Then, led by their brother James, they slowly started to add more items to their store. A deli counter, a butcher shop, pastries. And from there, it expanded and it just blew up. What was once Pete's Produce has evolved into Pete's Fresh Market, the destination guides best of 2012, and a still growing chain of nine stores. And it's going to be 10 and 11 in the next coming year or two. Store number nine in Oak Brook Terrace offers some insight into what's made Pete's so successful. So she goes to me, let me give you a hug for that. She goes, I say, okay, I'll give you a hug. We really just take the time to find the best produce items, the best meat items, and the best quality. Fresh guacamole we'll fix every day. This is um, mango salsa, it's very good. We make a fresh scratch every morning. From salamis, to turkeys, to hams, to cheeses. The Lotus Cafe. Like a breakfast blend, kind of coffee roast, and people seem to like it. And gelato bar. We were in Italy. He tried so many different gelatos. He loves the gelato. We put a gelato bar in this store. We make it in-house now. The turtle gelato, uh, which is a rich uh, salted caramel base with pecans and a chocolate variegate. When you come across, say, a specialty cheese island, and there's aged cheddar that you've never tried, or a smoked gouda, or the olive bar that we make, the different olive salads, People don't necessarily come across those in their everyday life and it kind of sp sparks their interest where then they, they want to try it. And we offer samples and people actually just get hooked and they try things that they've never tried before. We do a lot of samples so people can taste them to know what it is. Because it's not all standard supermarket fare. Uh, a knuckle is a knuckle. It depends how you cut it. You know, like the Hispanics like a thin cut knuckle which they call bola or sandwich steak. You know what I mean? The sandwich steak the Americans use and you cut it a little bit thicker. If you look at the case right now, you'll see that there's a lot of different things in there that you wouldn't see in their average grocery store. It takes me just 45 minutes just to get out of the produce section. Any of the meat that comes in here, we process ourselves. You know, we do all our cutting, all our grinding, make uh, homemade sausages. Every single day, maybe three, four, or five times a day. And all at reasonable prices. You might go to another competitor's store and see the same product and quality, but at a higher price. From the fruit. It's a very special, special grapes. Real sweet. To the seafood. All of our fish is sent in either every day or every other day, so age is never a problem. Freshness is never a problem. This is my neighborhood. Like, I grew up here, and it's just it's nice to see everyone come in. It's your local grocery store. It's really what it feels like. And voila, there you go. Thank you, Ruben. <laughs> There's no, really no, no reason to shop at any other store. I mean, there's everything you possibly can want. And if they, don't, if they don't have it, you don't need it as far as we're concerned. I mean, it's perfect. It's everything that you find at your favorite grocery store and at your specialty grocery store all put together into one giant store and everybody leaves happy.